Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how I cover up my redness using drugstore makeup products. Redness can be quite hard to cover up and having super pale skin, it can be especially challenging. So today I'm going to be giving you an in-depth routine on how I cover up my redness, acne scars and pigmentation. So if this sounds good to you, give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. All right, so this is what my skin looks like without doing any correcting. I have turned down the brightness so, you know, you can get a real good look. And as you can see, I do have overall redness. And then I also have some blemishes which leave really red spots on me. And then on my cheeks here, I do have scars and pigmentation from previous acne. So to counteract this redness and achieve an overall flawless look, we need to color correct. Green is the shade that counteracts red, so that is what we will be using today. To start off, I like to go in with a primer that's going to correct my overall redness. One from the drugstore that I have been loving lately is the L'Oreal Infallible Anti-Redness Primer. This one is a really runny formula, but I do like that because it spreads really far and I've also noticed it leaves a nice luminosity to the skin. Using a green primer is a really great option if you have overall redness that you need to dull down. You can use your fingers to apply your primer. This one particularly, I do like to use a brush because it is more of a runny formula. I find the brush just helps to spread it out more evenly. After I've applied the primer, I like to go in with a green concealer and do some spot concealing. Although the primer tones down the overall redness, going in with a green concealer is a great way to further reduce the appearance of breakouts and pigmentation. Two of my favorite options right now are the Rimmel Insta Conceal and Correct Palette and then the Astralis Color Click Green Concealer. I love both of these as they are a very pastel green, so they're super light and easy to blend in. I'm going to use the green from the Rimmel Color Correcting Palette today and I like to use a nice dense brush to apply this. So this one here is by Real Techniques and I'm pretty sure it's called the Deluxe Crease Brush. The name has rubbed off. So I just get a little bit of that on the brush and then go ahead and apply it over the red spots. After you've applied the green concealer, you can go ahead and pop your foundation on, but I do like to go in with an extra step which just really helps to cover up the blemishes, and that is using a concealer that matches my skin tone to just go over the spots one more time to make sure they're covered up. If you wear a full coverage foundation, this step isn't 100% necessary because the foundation should have enough coverage to go over the green. But if you like to wear a light or a medium coverage foundation, this step is really helpful as you won't have to pack the foundation on to get the coverage because the concealer will do that for you. For this step today, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflage Concealer in the shade 10 Fair. And then to apply this, I'm just going in with the same brush that we used for our green concealer.
So this is what my skin looked like before color correcting and this is what it looks like after. So now I am ready for my foundation and no matter what kind of coverage I go for, it's going to be okay because the redness is covered. Alright, this is the completed look and as you can see, everything is covered up. One thing to remember is that you can cover up the redness, but if you have bumps, you're not going to be able to cover them. So this pimple on my cheek, for instance, you can still kind of see it because it is a raised bump. It's not just a flat red spot. Color correcting can seem like a lot of effort to go to, but as you just saw, it works. If I were to put my foundation straight over my redness without color correcting, it just isn't going to do the job. My skin tone is just too pale and the shade of my foundation doesn't have enough pigment to be able to cover up such redness. If you do try and cover up your redness without color correcting, you'll find your foundation can start to turn very heavy and cakey quickly because you are piling on so much. So overall, if you are having trouble with redness, acne spots, scars and pigmentation, I definitely recommend giving a green concealer or primer a go. There are a ton of different products from the drugstore that you can try, so it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. I hope you enjoyed watching today and found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I upload two videos a week and majority of them are related to being pale. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!